This episode is sponsored by Honey Badger. In addition to Honey Badger's great error monitoring service, they also have an uptime monitoring for web developers. And Honey Badger has recently shipped an update that allows for public status pages that can help communicate outages to your customers. In addition to your uptime monitoring, Honey Badger now monitors your SSL certificates. And Honey Badger now has actions which will allow you to do bulk updates to all your errors, or you can set defaults for incoming errors. In this episode, we're going to have a look at creating a question and answer section, but we are going to do it with a twist. We're going to use a lot of hot wire to make it highly interactive. So as we create a question, we can start giving some answers. And as the owner of this question, we can type out an answer, we can submit it. And because I am the owner of this particular answer, I'm able to edit or delete this answer. Because I'm the owner of the question, I can mark this answer as correct. If we open up a different browser, you'll see immediately that I cannot edit, delete, or mark the answer as correct because I'm not the owner of the question, nor am I the owner of that particular answer. And so we can type our own answer on the browser on the right as a different user. And when we submit this, something interesting will happen. And using Hotwire, the message gets broadcasted to all the users. However, on the left browser, this user is the owner of the question, so they have the ability to still mark it as correct. Whereas on the right-hand side, Jane Smith is the one who created this answer, and the broadcast did not send over the Marcus correct link. Instead, because Jane is the owner of this question, it automatically sent her the edit and delete link. So we could delete this, and it'll get deleted from both sides. We can post that answer again. We can make changes to it. Maybe we want to make this an actual URL, and we can update it, and it gets updated on both browsers. If John Smith, who originally posed the question, likes this reply more, then they can mark it as correct. And so using Hotwire to do this kind of broadcast where it is taking into the context of the user is actually a neat trick that we're going to look at in this episode. We're also going to look at when they refresh the browser, it'll pin the correct answer at the top. And we aren't rearranging the answers as they are getting marked correct simply because if someone's already on this page and typing, we wouldn't want all the answers to be shuffling around while they're trying to concentrate on typing their own answer. And so for this example application, we're not going to use any external libraries except for Hotwire. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.